wait for a little bit for everyone to get here. Just double checking, make sure everything is proper. No, that is not what I wanted to do. I should be live on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully. I would hope it fucking does it. Yes. There we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, this is going to pop on over here, and I just want the chat room. Okay, here we go. Just so that way I can moderate you guys and uh, check out my notifications while I'm doing this. Let's just really cut down on that. There we go. Do -do. Make sure I can see some notifications. That'd be good. Okay, so <clears throat> this should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and hit record. Hopefully everything is working as it should and as intended. I actually have no idea. Okay. All right. So, for those of us on YouTube watching this, and also for me editing this, uh, this is the Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge Nuzlocke Class Lock modded Blood Hunter playthrough. Um, it hopefully, uh, you know, everything is working as intended. I'm trying out some new audio settings for the game, so hopefully the the uh, audio will duck a little bit as I'm talking, um, and that might that might help with some of the audio quality issues that was happening last stream. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a new game, and let's set up our heroic or honor. Uh, honor mode is what it's called, right? It's not heroic. Yeah, it's honor mode. Um, so this apparently is completely jacked up. Mic's a bit quiet. We can fix that. No problem. Um, oh, it is a bit quiet, huh? Let me see. Compressor, limiter... Threshold. That's ah, weird that it's quiet. Uh, hold on a second. One minute. We're gonna figure all this out. Hopefully, that's a little better. Uh, it should be in the yellow, so that should be good. How's that, Scurry? Is that good? Hopefully, I want to make sure we have the best viewing experience because this sort of this new series is gonna be more based on like. Uh, story and characters and all that sort of stuff. Better? Okay, cool. We'll we'll rock with this. And how's the game audio? Is that too quiet? We can also turn that up if we need to. It won't be too bad, but... Yeah, I might just turn that up a little bit. We'll do like 0.8 and hopefully that will... I'll be right now. It's just background noise. So you can always turn it turn it up or down later. Just keep keep me notified in chat. I'll be I'll be watching it. Uh, so don't worry. Keep an eye out. Okay. So as we were saying, uh, honor mode. <laughs> let's let's read this out in my dramatic voice. Honor mode is an intense campaign recommended for experienced players. That's me. Stronger bosses, the most dangerous foes in the realms are more powerful in this mode, with new abilities and legendary actions. Oh, yes. Stricter rules. Along t alongside tactician modes, regular difficulty increases. Action economy and bonus damage rules are made stricter towards the end of the game. Interesting. Single save file. This is the big one. You cannot reload older saves in honor mode if events go awry. Your choices and, consequ and consequences always stick. If your entire party is defeated in combat, your honor mode run will end. You will be able to continue your adventure in custom mode should you desire, but finishing it will not count as finishing honor mode. 
If you are victorious and beat the game in this mode, you will be rewarded with a bespoke dice set to use in-game for future playthroughs. Good luck, honorable adventurer. You'll need it. So, we're going to give this our best shot, um, and hopefully everything goes as planned. Um, I, I am doing this with 5e spells and Blood Hunter class, but there's really no other mods in here. I might end up doing it if I think that, like, sneak attack reaction needs to be a thing. Because I, if I remember properly, the game originally didn't have uh, anything to do with that. We don't need to see that opening cutscene. Okay. So let's build out our new character that I'm going to market everywhere. Uh, and hopefully will be uh, moderately attractive. So I think what I did, I built this out earlier, is I went tiefling. We went Zerial tiefling. Um... And let me edit our appearance real quick. If I can remember which face I use. I don't really remember. Was it Demia or her? I don't quite remember. We'll figure it out here in a second. Um, skin color we want. Red tone one with a scar across the nose with a because we have a lot of freckles because freckles are adorable and we want to make sure that we look adorable while we're murdering everybody um you know you know how it goes and it was this tattoo if i can remember i think it was these horns yes and then hair um where was the one I was looking at? And there was some... Yes, here we are. There we go. And... We'll also do some stuff with the eyes. Heterochromia, left eye will be... Was it black or... No, it was this one. Cool, cool. Uh, makeup. I just love this eyeshadow. It's just really good. Turn with the metallic on it. Maybe it'll down a little bit so it blends in with the tattoo more. There we go. And then the lip tint. We'll just go ahead and do... Should we do black? I think I need to change the hair color. Yeah, the hair needs to be... What did, I, what did I decide on last time? I think I did white. Did I do white? Or was it like like rose? I think it was rose. And then I did graying with a bit brighter of a red. Is that right? Oh, that's interesting. It's like not doing the thing I had it do anymore. Give me a moment. Ah, oh, it was highlights. Highlights are actually working now for some reason. That's that's kind of cool. go cool and the horns i think we want to do this full-on black was the idea yeah now do we have anything else to do not really i think that's pretty much the face done should, should we give our character a mighty beard ah uh, yes of course the super serious dark erdron Nah, I'll do this. That looks good. That looks good. Um, the hair, I'm still not sure on. Yeah, it's like too dark, and then... Um... Hmm. Hmm. 
I think I like that pinkish more. Can we... We can use this to, like, blend a little bit, right? Give, like, some darker shading. Yeah. I like that a lot, actually. Cool. All right. Is that? I don't know. What are we thinking, ladies and gentlemen? I think that she looks fantastic, but you can never really be too sure. You know what I mean? You can never know. Looking good. All right. Our goal is to be as attractive as possible while accidentally murdering my way through this entire playthrough. And not like it's going to matter. I'm going to die at some point, and then I'm going to have to remake this character all over again. But that's okay. Um, so, it is what it is. Anyway, we are playing Blood Hunter, which will be interesting. Um, Blood Curse of Binding. Interesting. We're going to do uh, Blood Curse of the Marked and uh, Custom. Or Oh, shit. I forgot. We have to do Dark Urge. Oops. Apologies, everybody. We have to remake this character really quick because I'm dumb. I forgot that we're doing a Dark Urge run, which is really hilarious. Um, yikes. I messed that up. Well, time to fix everything. There we oh, it just lets you save it. Oh, never mind. We're good. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Good to know. Good to know. Perfect. Um, do we want to change any of our skills? Investigation is always good. History is really kind of useless. Survival is really good. Or, yeah, so we'll do Arcana, Investigation, and Survival will be our main skills there. And then we also get uh, Medicine and Intimidation, um, which is pretty good. We'll go ahead and rock that. All right, we're going to remake this, this person later, but for now, this will be okay. Let's go ahead and start our Dark Urge uh, Honor Mode Nuzlocke run. The Dark Urge. No. Um, what would our character name be here? Let's... Since we're doing a more fo like actual story-based story, story -based playthrough, let's go ahead and make an actual name for our character. Um, let's do Alicia. I guess, it, actually, here, let's change the spelling of that. At least. There we go. All oh, right, we gotta make a guardian. Sh should we just make, um... <laughs> yeah, we should just make the DM's only friend, right? That's That's how this goes. That's what I would imagine. Yeah, we just make the DM's only friend. Easy enough. Uh, um, flame blue too. Yep. We just make the DM's only friend. Easy. And I remember exactly how to make them. If I can find the right hair. Yes. Hair color is black with uh, cyan highlights. Oh, can I do graying highlights though? Yeah, it looks better with graying if I remember. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da, general.
Um, as far as hair goes, I think that's like pretty much it. And then the horns that we need are... I don't really have the horns that I really like anymore. So we'll have to go with what actually works. And I think these are like the closest to what they were. So hopefully those do. Um, is there a secondary one I can use? None of them quite fit. Yeah, because they, re they removed the ones that I really like. They don't have the, the jeweled ones anymore, which is really unfortunate. You can just go with something absolutely ridiculous. Where are those ones I was looking at earlier? Ah, yes. Of course. <laughs> just ridiculousness. Lovely. So I'm not sure that's the right face. Like, that just doesn't look right to me. Oh god, that's horrifying. Oh god, they're all horrible. That'll be fine. That's close enough. It's close enough, right, guys? We all know this doesn't matter. It might in darker, so I have no idea. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's just go. We can just skip this. We all know what happens. Tadpoles in your brain. Uh, you're in a mind flare ship. The whole shebang. You know, normal D&D stuff. Right, guys, right? This is a normal D&D game. blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Curse whoever did this to you. The torturer behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. That is some dialogue I've never heard before. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's go. Dead. Okay. Well, we just gotta loot everything that we possibly can. So, what is this? What is this character voice? Why is it so like? It's. I'm. I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to restart just to change my character voice. I. Uh, it sounded like really good in the, in the preview, and now it's just kind of garbage. I'm gonna be a little bit real. It sounds like somebody like pitch shifted a male voice to sound female. It isn't necessarily always bad. It's just. You see what I mean? It's just a little bit weird. It's like I don't know. They have like an apple stuck in their throat or something weird. Well, okay. Um. We'll just. We'll continue on. It doesn't matter. Best time to restart is now. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I just... <laughs> I really do not like the voice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
it just sounds so... Hello, it's me. How are you doing today? Yes. You know what I mean? Um... Anyway, can I... Just delete that save? Yes. We're also gonna delete Alessandra. Okay. Alright. Let's try that again. <laughs> but this time, the voice won't want... Yeah, before I get attached. Before I get attached to my character a little bit too much. Um... <laughs> okay. Okay, we are Dark Urge. My race is Tiefling. I am a Zerial Tiefling of the Blood Hunter class with the Blood Curse of the Marked and uh, proficiency in survival with the Haunted One background with body type one. Okay, where's the voice? Where to? Hmm. Let's hope the. Hells. Be wary. This. It's opened. More of those wretched things. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. Where to? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Yeah, let's just use that one. That's just the best one. Alright. Hair. Hey, what is up, Kiri? Kamikuro? Oh, you didn't read YouTube chat. I'm so sorry. I had it not pulled up. Because I was fixing stuff. I'm so sorry. My ADHD gets the better of me. I apologize sincerely. I will be paying a better attention to that. Thanks for Lone Wolf vids. Dude, you got it. No problem. Uh, I That was more of like a learning opportunity for me. So hopefully this one is actually even better than the last one. I don't know. We'll find out very quickly. Um, and there's going to be a lot more stakes in this one. Because the Lone Wolf sort of series was... It was sort of a meme. Because it was just me cheesing through the game and, like, safe scumming all the way. Which is, is fun in its own right. But, you know, <laughs> it's not the most fun to watch all the time. Oh, that's for sure. Now, let's see if I can remember everything that I did. Nope. Eyes, heterochromia. Yeah, I'll get really fast at this here in a minute. So is it... So is a Nuzlocke in a sense of your companion gets down, they dead for... Yes. Yes, so... The, so for those of you who are here who are chilling out, it's basically if my companion dies, I'm not allowed to resurrect them. So things such as revivify are not allowed. Um, stabilizing them is allowed. Um, that's fine. But if they die, they're de they're dead for good. Along with that, I'm increasing the challenge. So whatever class they die with, I'm not allowed to reclass anybody else into that. So if Shadowheart dies as a cleric, we can't have a cleric in the party. Because um, that's terrifying. You can multi-class, but any class that they had whenever they die is now unavailable. So we can't really do, like, super crazy, um, stuff too often, because it sort of has this risk that occurs. Rip Bone Daddy? He will not be used in this run a lot. No, uh, I'm also obviously banning, uh, what was it? The minions that you can summon from him? The, I forget. But, yeah. Honestly, the natural look is kind of dope. But I like... Ah, I like... Listen, I like black lipstick too much. It's, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay. Perfect. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, hirelings. Yes. I, I never use hirelings anyway. Um... At least I never did in the original run, just because, like, there was, like, no stakes to, like, having your, like, actual party members die. So, like, why wouldn't you have them in your party? Um, and, you know, it just didn't make much sense to me. 
All right, we'll go with Alicia, and we shall proceed. Actually, wait. Let's do... Yes. All right, and then we'll just very quickly make the DM's only friend. Because I generally just remember uh, flame blue, makeup, hair, who is one of these. I swear to God. I just need to find this as fast as possible. Yes, there we go. Raven black hair with... Yep, there she is. I think I changed her face though. I think we decided that. Yeah. There we go. Horns, we'll do the other ones here. Hit a Kermia black eye. Weak for the goth girl is I get it, they are bad at Listen, my current girlfriend is a goth baddie. <laughs> it's just the way of the world. <laughs> Everything works out, man. I'm telling you. Okay, uh, no scarring. Actually, I guess it would be she would be scarred as hell from her solo run days. Boom, there we go. There we go. All right, we're good. Let's kick it. All right, take two. This time, hopefully, the voice doesn't make me want to give myself a lobotomy via soup spoon. Ah, we're here again. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Let's do a different one this time. Say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. The dark urge. Whatever that is, that is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. Jesus. Okay, well, that's dark and depressing. Oh, my head. Yeah, that's a lot better. That voice is so much better. That does not drive me crazy. Dead. Good. Um, I have this chest over here. Make your way, Alicia. Oh, hold on, my chat, my chat box is being weird. Uh, Luke just typed something. Give me a s quick second. Uh, how do I, is there a better way to view this chat room? Like, this is really annoying, actually. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab a, like a different monitor and I'm gonna have, uh, have the chat open up for YouTube. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Okay, so I have the chat open. All right, we're all good. Everything is sorted, maybe. I'm still figuring this out. I'm not a professional. <laughs> what do you take me for? Somebody who knows what he's doing? That's ridiculous. All right, here she comes. She's just gotta make her way downtown. Another step forward. 
All right, so Luke typed, have you tried the WASD mod in combination with the needed camera tweaks? It turns Baldur's Gate 3 into a game that plays like Dragon Age. That sounds very interesting. That's for sure. Something good here, I hope. Something on this guy, I forget. Yes, there is. Yeah, that would be an interesting playthrough. Play it like Dragon Age. Is there any books over here I can take? No. Let's see if we can get our little brain buddy. Hello, friend. I'm gonna try and rip out your brain. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. Please. Before they return! They return. Uh... You sound afraid. Why? The enemy! So many enemies! I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body! From this case. Free us. Hmm, okay. Sure. Let's do a dexterity check. Let's pray. First roll. Natural 20, let's go. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Oh my god. Um, imagine a brain... What the hell? Imagine a brain full of holes, a brain like your own. <laughs> Why do I get advantage? I'm sorry, what? What the hell is that? Split splatter gives you advantage. All right. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, what do I do with this? The creature seems unaware of your interference. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why? Uh, okay, bro. I I guess I'll see ya. We are free. Our freedom is ours. Okay. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Uh, Apo Apo asks, uh, is this on honor mode? Yes, if we die, everything is dead. Uh, let me I still short this. There we go. No golden dice. I don't think I have golden dice. Um, all right. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's go, Mr. Brain Man. Okay, 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 we got us with us. Yes, it's you guys, Twitch, Twitch chat, it's you. Look, it's you guys. Uh, no, I haven't beaten it on her, on her mode before. But I would love to. Jesus. Uh, game audio is a little loud, isn't it? Um, let's turn that down a little bit. We're we're still adjusting everything, so hopefully, once we get it figured out, everything will be nice and easy to easy to do.
Here she comes, our favorite character in the game. Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Ugh. My head. What is this? Squaw. Hashtag you Basil. <laughs> me I've never day. heard that. Together, we might survive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you suggest, Lays uh, Bas I'm gonna call her Basil from now on. What do you suggest, Basil? it believes we are thralls it may be of use in the fight to come sure thing yeah so here's our first initiative but the thing to remember about Lazel is like She's kind of mean for a reason. Like, could you imagine being like a zealot or whatever of your religion and then you suddenly are in like your, like the equivalent of like your Satan's like domain, like here and you had like a freaking corrupted thing put in your brain. I think, I think you'd be pretty scared and a little bit frustrated, um, just in general. So. We will do that. Um, let's just have us go attack this guy. Time to strike. Okay, so I'll hit this one. You break? Gonna get the fire sword? Probably not. I won't give in. The fire sword? Like, it's possible. We can try and, and get it. Um, but I'm not running a strength build, so if we do run it, I'd probably have Lazel on my party for a little bit. Um, that, that'll be fine. Victory awaits. Okay. Okay, Mr. Brain, I need you to attack this guy. So, okay, let's just loot everything we can because we're gonna need it. By God, we're gonna need it. Okay, I think equip one scimitar. Uh, oh, right, it's a Blood Hunter longsword here. I'm not going to use any modded items for this playthrough because I feel like that's sort of cheating. Uh, I'll just have a short sword and a scimitar. It's fine. Okay. Anything on here? Oh my god, guys, it's Shart. Let's go talk with her. You! Get me out of this captain! Ah, uh, that's too bad. You know, guys, we killed her in the last playthrough. I mean, <laughs> what could go wrong if we leave her here? Uh construction is too alien. This ship is crashing. Wait, it cannot be. 
We'll just kill her later, it's fine. Okay. Well, we all know how to free her. Super easy deal. We just gotta get into here. And a second scimitar. Oh, solid. Light and finesse. There you go, now we're matching. With our weaponry. We got two scimitars. Aren't I cool guys? I'm like that that one uh drow character, Driss Jordan, or however you pronounce it. Anything of use? Yes. Potion, black dye. I don't need those other things, because those are modded. And this person should have yep. Rune. But for what? Okay. There we go. Now we're truly dark urge. Because now we have Aether's black dye on our armor. Yes, game, I know how removing dyes work. You don't need to remind me. The console appears dormant. We'll insert that stone. Is this Nuzlocke with base companion builds? Are you planning on optimizing them? Uh, I am planning on optimizing them based on... Not necessarily whatever I need, but what is most effective just in general. I don't know, but we'll see. But I I'm allowed to change their subclasses and classes, but if they die, I just can't have anybody else reclass into that. That's sort of the restriction I was planning on. Uh, and that's just because, like, for example, Shadowheart is so unoptimized in this game that she's, like, in my opinion, really just impossible to use as, like, an effective cleric. Oh, shit, I rolled a natural one. Ha! <laughs> oh, well. Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. Just hit it. Authority. Alright, let's will the pod open. It's a DC of two. Natural 20. I just got a natural one and then a natural 20. Followed it. That's crazy. The biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Alright, shark, come along. All right. Hey there, buddy. At last. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. You feel her gratitude, but also guardedness. And above all, a will to survive. Ah, my head. All right, listen here, Shark. I'm getting out of here. Follow me if you can keep up. Trust me. I'll keep up. <laughs> All right, then. Let's get going. I'm Alicia. I have mental disorders. Shadowheart. One moment. <gasps> you know, I usually don't provoke her, but... What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. I thought they'd have more to say to that. Lead on. Okay. Yippee! Wait, that's the wrong way. Wrong door. Um, there's also this chest here, which we might want to grab. All right.
Perfection. Are we out of any resources right now? Shadowheart, I need you. All right, we're going to try and get this sword. It's going to have to be very sketchy, though. All right, we're going to do Sanctuary, Command, Healing Word, and Cure Wounds. As your spells. Okay. And there's nothing else here for us, so let's just push forward. Yeah, it's just the domain of trickery being ass. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't get why they sort of like. Once inside, do as I say. Okay, okay. Well, these two are arguing like it's a soap opera. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, trickery domain in this game just being at like terrible kind of sucks because it's actually one like one of my favorite cleric subclasses in actual fifth edition. Um. That is like, I don't know. You obviously, I guess roleplay wise, it makes sense for her. I would, I would rather them have added a whole bunch of, uh, different domains, and then they could have just had her be Twilight Domain. Because Twilight Domain would have been much more interesting. Because it's like an actual domain in 5th edition. And it has like some really cool abilities. Yes, sir. Do it. We will deal with the gate after we escape. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll get you out of here. Well, that's handy. So I'm gonna have you do this. Make way. I think I have a strategy. We're gonna see if we can get him to drop it first. Focus. Onward. Uh, we're just drop. All right. Fifty-five percent chance, guys. Do we get this? Oh, oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, my God. Ha, <laughs> Good. GG run done. Yeah, guys, I, I think I won out life at this point. Uh, okay, can I... Can I dash? I just, I just, I'm gonna grab that. Okay, Lazelle, I need you to pick up these. Shadowheart. Pick up this one. And then we transfer it over to our main main girl over here. And then What the hell? Can you not Hello? Oh, I guess we can't. Okay. That's really weird that we can't do that. Another fight. Let's go. Can I really not? Uh-oh. Okay. I don't see why Lazelle was allowed to do that, but... Whatever. 
Is that just a mo yeah, it's it's uh it's studded leather technically. So it's like kind of mid, but it's completely normal, yeah. Right click to sun, maybe? It might be. I can see if that works. Um. Faith will protect me. It. What? It did work that way. Okay. Okay, fair. Fair enough, I, I guess. Breathing, despite everything. So weird that it does that, but thank you for the tip, chat. Very appreciative. Okay, there we go. Okay, Lazel. Okay, Shadowheart. Got to move. You know, we might actually be able to kill this demon guy. Perfection. Nothing important. Okay, can we disengage? On my way. Oh my god, I can't. I will ascend. No time to waste. Right, here we go. Shadow heart, move over here. Okay. This might actually happen. We might be able to kill this guy. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, can I just throw a healing potion to Lazel? Thank you. That works fine. Okay, do you- you don't have a slashing attack yet, do you? Uh, that is- that's just unfortunate. Um... Let's try and kill this Lesser Hellbore. That sucks. Um... I'm just gonna Sacred Flame some people. Huge. Nice. Okay. Let's go attack this guy. Is there anything on this Mind Flayer's body? There's a single jade. Wow, thanks, man. Anything of use? Okay, all well, that works. Uh, Lazel, we'll have you do something here in a bit. Let's just see if we can get this guy. <laughs> 75 XP, huge. Lazel, you're gonna be the one to do this. There we go. Okay, we just wanted that XP. Because I believe you can get like level two as you exit the Nautiloid, which is pretty dope.
All right, we just gotta wait for the game to load. Exciting. Ah, uh, yes, the loaded textures. Hero, calm down there in chat. Minthara is not your mommy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh man. All right, here we are. Oh, what's up, Pelly? Um, so Dark Urge Nuzlocke is basically. Hold on, we'll wait for this. Once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship, but your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Okay, so, reminder, Dark Urge Nuzlocke basically means that if a uh, character, a playable character, dies, um, they are dead forever. I cannot revive them by any means. So, re like, re like revivifies out, raise deads out. Uh, it's okay, Kiro, you're good. I understand. Uh, <laughs> but, basically, um, along with that, with permadeath, there's also the... Uh, added challenge of if that character dies with whatever class they're on, um, nobody else can reclass into it. So if Shadowheart dies with the cleric subclass, or the cleric class, um, nobody else can be a cleric. And so it restricts your sort of um, abilities as well. Um... It's gonna be horrible. Um, I think I'm planning on doing a dual crossbow build this time around. And we're gonna do Right of the Storm. Because lightning damage is crazy. <laughs> Light Domain Radiant Orb Cleric go brrr. Yeah. We love that. Oh god. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Um try to remember the last time you stood above a corpse. With you being dirge, will you do every dirge interaction? I think my goal is to try and resist the dark urge and become better because I like being the hero. But if we really want to, chat, we can totally lean into the full evil deal and I will just murder everybody in my path and torture people. Um, and they'll be horrible. 
Uh, Pelly asks, I try to understand Blood Hunter class, my brain short circuited. Basically, you cut your wrists to deal more damage. As soon as you it's delve into your it's mind, fantastic. It's filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Ah, that's horrifying. That will limit your... <laughs> if you lean into that, that will limit your options fast. Oof. All right, well, let's try and avoid it then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wake her. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? The power of friendship, Shadowheart. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Ah, uh, well. Do you know what happened to her? I thought it said Gothran for a minute. Uh, now what? First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Uh, okay. Indeed, we better get moving then. Farewell, just leave her. Um, yeah, by the power of the clearly powerful artifacts you're hiding, yes. Uh, we? You want to stay together? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right then, Shart, let's get moving. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Hmm. Lead the way. Shadowheart will remember that. Very cool. All right, let's see if we can scavenge as many camp supplies as humanly possible from the starting area. Uh, wow. There's a hat here that we can take. I think I'm good on that end. Wish I had a bag of holding. Uh, we can, and I might make Gale an artificer. Let's get on with it. If we make Gale an artificer. We can get a bag of holding. Don't have to worry about carry weight. Um. Yeah, that's fine. What other prepared spells do you have? Guiding Bolt? Yeah, that's cool. We'd better take a peek. Still alive, so that's progress. Let's be on my way. Shanties for the bitch queen. No thanks. I'm good. It's fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Go. Gotta loot everything possible. Any other class mods you installed? Uh, no, just Artificer and Blood Hunter, and that's it. Divine Soul Sorcerer's fun. I forget how they they prepare their cleric spells though. Do they just learn them, or is it like it's like super weird? Or they just get access to them? Because if so, if they just get access to them, that's pretty crazy. It's inside. Oh, wait, there's a chest up here that we need to grab. More of those wretched things. In D&D, they just get access to the full list. I don't know how the mod does it. That's fair. I'd hope it's the same way. But you never know. Sometimes these things are weird. Don't want to draw any attention. 
So. Don't waste a step. Let's do this. Oh. Well, that's good to know that it does that. That didn't do anything? Are you kidding me? What? What? Well, that's unfortunate. Where do I go from here? Let's do Curse of the Marked on you. Let's get this over with. Take you, you. Ow. What the hell? I didn't even know these guys have these attacks. I'm going to be real with you. Well, really, take you, you take you, you. on. I go. Well, let me tank some of that. Jesus. Eight damage? That's crazy. Wait, where'd this guy go? Ah, uh, let's just shoot this guy, I guess. I don't think we need that yet. I just got a crit hit. This will get easier as we go along, but right now this is going to be kind of brutal. I can't even get over to him. Are you serious? Ugh. Jesus. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Brutal. Better than nothing. Brutal combat. No traps, please. Oil of diminution. I should have a potion of speed on him. Yes, sir. We're going to save that for a rainy day. What's hiding Is there anything else over here? Oh, there's gold here. That's good. Maybe I need more pockets. There's a clamshell here. Is that just a junk item? Great. I've I don't see the use in those because they aren't even like potion components. But whatever. 
All right, a starian. I have something to ask. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Sure, man. Yeah, <laughs> easily. Stand back, brother. There. Can you see it? Oh no. He has a knife to my throat. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Any builds for companions that you're planning? Shadow Heart's gonna be our life cleric. Uh, Gail, I think I wanted to run Abjuration or Divination on him. And then uh, Astarian, if I'm running him. I would probably run him as a Arcane Trickster, like, Booming Blade build. But I kind of want to run Carlac because I'm going to build myself as a DPS character. Wait. I can melee attack him. Oh. <gasps> Okay, well, we're just going to comply Spend. for now. And now you're going to tell me exactly what you and those tentacle freaks did to me. Yeah, but backwards, they also took, they took me prisoner. Don't lie to me. I... Your mind twists. Oh. Looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It's connected us now. Uh oh, posture check. Posture check. I'm standing up straight. Don't you worry. You, not one of them. They took you, just the same as me. Yeah, and idiot. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, apology accepted. I might have done the same if the roles were reversed. Uh -huh. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm in quite the state, but I, th <laughs> but I think I'm Alicia. Okay, sure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Um. Yes, they'll turn us into mind flares. Turn us into. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although. It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Uh, you should travel with me. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. That's right, come along, buddy. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right, I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty court. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. So far, Dark Urge was my favorite playthrough. Yeah, dude. I haven't played Dark Urge before, so we'll see how this goes, but I'm a little bit scared. Let's go kill this mind flayer. There. A mind flayer. 
And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Monster. Death is too good for it. I don't need any attention right now. Ooh, another potion of speed. Already thinking about murder. Oh, top notch. Ellie's saying Lazelle romance is top tier. Nah, bro, it's all about that goblin chick, dude. Let's be real. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Okay, is there any way I can like send a whole bunch of stuff to camp already? Cause like I don't need like a lot of this. Water, yep. There we go. Um, I have a bad feeling about me going with that. Goblin, don't say gyat. Pelly, don't say gyat. Don't say goblin gyat. It's not. It's. Ah. Uh, whatever. It's. Oh, God. All right. Well, don't worry, guys. We'll have a Goblin Gat t-shirt out soon. Hope everybody's excited. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. All right. It looks slightly dangerous. I right, touch it. A hand? Anyone? Don't worry, Gale. Uh, slap the hand. Fantasize about hacking off the hand. Ignore the urge to maim. Yes. Please, okay, Gale, I really need my wizard boy, okay? Oh, I barely succeeded. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Gale. Get on out of here. Hell yeah. Oh, here, here's the scene. Here's the scene. Oh. Hello. I'm, I'm gay. gay. Water deep. Apologies. Sorry. I'm usually better at this. Guys, he's gay. Guys, it's it's gay from Water Deep. <laughs> uh, no need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked. But friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. Yes. Yes, I was. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating Excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers. It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? Can't say that I am, you man. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Uh, I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, that's a no-go, man. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. 
I have a feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Gail, we are leveling you up, and you are going to take the Divination subclass. Because Divination is statistically just better, and you're going to learn Shield and Magic Missile. And you're going to take those two, along with, let's do Fog Cloud Grease and... Let's do sleep. Actually, Thunder Wave might be really good. Do sleep. Okay. Still in control. So cool. We now have a full party of misfits. Um, is there anything over this way? And then I think Lazelle's up here. So we'll deal with that real quick. Thunder wave. Pelly says the only time I used Fog Cloud was when I was pickpocketing people. Kind of based. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes? How will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Hmm, let's do a deception check. DC 10 with a uh, guidance. Let's pray. Well... Well, that could have gone better. I guess we're killing some people. Demaze, let's... No, I'm not leaving this fiend with a stranger. Kill them. Hmm. Let's do it. Dimessa, watch out. Uh, let's just do. Should already have right of the storm on here, I think, right? Yeah. I don't want to use it already. Um, see, the thing is, okay, yeah, these are already reactions. Perfect. God, man, we just suck at rolling today. This is a really exciting combat, guys. Okay, can we just cast sleep on you guys? Swift as my feet can carry me. Um, firebolt him to death. It's the plan. My God, with haste, what the hell is that? Torment. Do 
Dear God, man. Oh no, your friend, he's dead. That really sucks. Oh my God, just... Really, one point of damage? Man, guys, honor it's so hard whenever they make it so you roll horribly all the time. There we go. There we go, thank you. Yeah, these fire bolts are only dealing like one damage. Anything of use? Makes you roll horribly all the time. Yeah, and then I immediately get a crit. This is why I complain about things. It's because sometimes the universe will just throw you a bone, you know? Let's go ahead and shoot the stone. Yes, hello, Lizzo. The Lizelle. hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Oof. All right, we'll join you together. Let's find it. You're full up. Dismiss someone first. All right, meet me at camp. Very well, but heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Okay, Basil, whatever you say. Bye. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just do another short rest. Don't use all our resources. Okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> What rules has a Baldur's Gate 3 Nuzlocke run? Uh, basically, permadeath on all characters. If I die, the run's over. We have to restart because it's honor mode. Um, if somebody dies with a class, nobody else can reclass into that class. Okay, let's see here. Oops, I forgot. Whoops, I totally meant to do that. I just wanted to switch over. I thought I pressed escape. Oopsie. Oh, well. Let's just roll intimidation. 21. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! Guys, look, I meant to shoot a Sterian. Um... What's next, I wonder? <laughs> Listen, he's up now. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um... Everybody come here. Everybody come near. Okay. Battleheart. Keep a blade close. Can you just drink your potions, Sturian? Um. 
staring for the full wrath of dirge. It's more like my idiocy, but yeah. Open up. Sort of the same deal, realistically. Alright, Asterion's pretty charismatic. Let's have him do this. Hello. Deception. Yes. It's me. Let me in. Yes. Let me in, buddy. Just sneak in the back way. Why would I go the back way whenever I'm based as hell? There we go. No choice but to keep going. Another step forward. Both missed. That's crazy. Well, so much for peace. Um Can I just target with you asleep, please? Let's finish this. Time to push my luck again. Easy enough. Okay. And on, you got your bandit's key, you have a whole bunch of stuff that I don't really need, okay. Okay, send a camp. The first thing that we can do, let's loot absolutely everything in here. What mod do you have? Because I see that you are a blood hunter or whatever it is. Yes, uh, it's just the blood hunter mod. It is fun. Milk can. Hmm, I don't really think I need any of that stuff over Never here. Only dust and silence. Uh, I don't need most Who of the stuff. Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. Death and divinity, a godly guide. Well, actually, books sell like sell for a lot, don't they? Yeah, they're like fourteen gold a piece. We'll just take this. Yeah, screw it. We just take all these books. Why not? I'm going to sell them later. Whoops. Enter tactical view on accident. Uh, yeah, just send these to camp or whatever. It's fine. Let's see. Okay. So, whenever we open up this door, we're going to be in a really annoying encounter. So, here's... The plan is I drop this candle. Okay. Oops, wrong weapon. There we go. Can I dip my weapon in that instead? Okay. Yes. Need to keep focused. Okay, that should be an environmental turn. 
Okay, Alicia. Interesting. Perfect. Just let her walk over there. Okay. Nice and quiet now. They're not waiting for us, which is a little bit obnoxious, but let's just go for it, I think. What? Why did I shot it with a dipped arrow? It didn't explode. What? Also, just wanted to thank you for making such a great Baldur's Gate 3 solo run. Really enjoyed those three vids. Thank you, man. That's like the first attempt that I did at actually making like a decent YouTube video. <laughs> um, Can't afford any mistakes. And I, I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to make, but still got a lot to learn. Okay, Gail, can you just... Man, that just was not helpful at all, bro. Adventure awaits. Ready. Okay, let me swap back to Gail. See if we can hit this guy. Because there should be more in here, right? There should be more. At least I think. These boots have seen everything. Let's have a look. Yep. Yeah, they're all in the library room for some reason. Let's clear out this area first before we. Let's see. Wow, really nothing. There's really nothing here. My hand slipped. Wow. Books are worth a lot of money. Okay. Let's see if we can sneak in here. Hydrate, Chris. I've been drinking a Gatorade this entire time. You don't got to tell me to hydrate. Mm. Okay, let's see. I ain't going home empty handed again. Frick, dude, these guys are all kind of beefy. Um, do we have a plan? Not really. We can do Should we just send it? Try me. Fine, I'll grab a second Gatorade. I'll grab a second Gatorade so I'm hydrated. Okay. Second Gatorade. <laughs> I'm hydrating, man. You best believe it. Hope you're happy. So my, my, my plan for this, I got more points. I know you have more points. Um, the thing about this, right, is I think what we enter with is we can use a potion of speed early for three turns and get like some crazy attacks off. You know what I mean?
Okay. Do I want to do it though? Is really the question. Um, Gail, do you have a spell slot left? Uh, you have arcane recovery. I would like you to recover a single level spell slot. Thank you. Okay. So. Let's do Bog Cloud not necessarily on any Buck. Clear off. We got you first. What the fuck? Why do you have bombs? Okay. Hey, everybody back up to here. This is a new plan. Ugh. Path is interrupted. What do you mean path is interrupted? Okay. Let's turn someone inside out. Let's have a little fun. Let's go. They won't know what bit them. Have to keep going. Okay. Right. This person's a mage. They're gonna cast major armor on themselves. That's fine. Counterspell that. Yeah, pretty much. Really? I took two damage and it broke concentrate. He was already standing in fire. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Good start. Okay. Let's do... Let's do something crazy. How far away are they? Okay, that should be... Fine. A rough tempest I will raise. Let them run at us. We want to make sure we have enough action economy to get there. Okay. Gonna dash, yep. Dipping in fire is just such a stupid mechanic. Um, okay. You have grease bottles? here um i wonder if i can actually hit him can i hit him oh my god i can that's crazy yes huge can't even catch my breath okay let's just let's just do it let's just pop it Um, can I get around to here? Yes. Okay, we have three hastened allies along with me. So I'm gonna close that door and make my way back here. Sterian. Do that, and then I need you to dash. Back behind here, please. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's throw one of these right there. Let's just position everyone as best we can. Yeah, you still take fire. What did you throw, dude? Did... Ow, okay. Uh, cool. Uh, must have advantage on the target. We love how sneak attack works in this game. Okay, both of those missed. Still on my feet. Unfortunate. Dude, give me something here. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why? It's like a 60% chance to hit. That's so stupid. What the hell? Um, alright, well, let's just start running the hell away, I guess. Let's have some Asarian, I would like you to dash and get the hell out of there. Yes. Never a dull moment. Yes, thank you. Okay, that missed. So I guess we just get out here. Uh, you're not really going to be able to deal any damage, are you? Maybe she gets radiant? Nope, she saves because of course she does. Okay. Can I bonus action hide? Now they see me. Yes, I can. Break them. Let's get rid of their action economy. Huge. Nothing important is ever easy. Cutting to the chase. Huge. Nice. Okay, haste is about to end. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Um, Gale? Why is it locked? Well, that's cool. Need to stay focused. Moving. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that one, buddy. Let's throw a healing potion at Gale then. If we have one. Yeah, let's just throw a healing potion at Gale.
Okay, Asterion. And not just walk past Gale here. Okay. Cool. I position. I thought I got him out of the doorway. I know, but that's fine. Um. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, can I throw this? Where? It, yeah. No, I need to be able to move and then throw it. Yeah, that'll happen. We're just trading around these healing potions like it's god dang Christmas. Yeah, shut up. Don't worry, Gail, you're not dead yet. I won't let that happen. Good throw. Nice. Oh my god, Asterion. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's going great. This is just exactly um, sort of what I intended on happening, you know? It's just, this is all going according to plan. You just don't really know yet. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can I back up and give shadow? Ugh. We love ice. Okay, we're just gonna keep a staring up. We got nothing else he could do, man. Can I shove you? Ah, shark, you suck. Time to push my luck again. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Uh, that's fine. We will throw another healing potion. I don't care that we're using a whole bunch of them. We gotta make sure that they do stay alive, unfortunately. Because this is like the hardest part of the game, is getting out of this stupid area. Um, can I... Get both of them? Yeah. Bro, really? Is okay, is Asterion about to die? Oh my god. I love that that's how that works. Okay. Okay. 
You know, it's fine. Let's just try that again. Except this time, maybe we'll actually proc the potion instead of just doing nothing. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. Ugh, I'm like sweating over here. Can I shove you again? Okay. As long as you're not necessarily dead. Perfect. Okay, Starion, you just stay there. I'll take care of this. Don't you worry. Okay, maybe not. Time for some bloody work. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> that was close, huh? It's a little more intense whenever you can't revivify people. Um, yeah. What's in here? But that's okay. You know, it's all good. Okay. Very cool. Um, do we? What am I to do? Yes. I want to try and get the Bone Man before we do anything. Okay. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. We're barely alive, but we're good. <laughs> okay. I think we didn't really get a whole lot of stuff from here. Yippee. Alright, let's keep going. Perfection. We're now in our dank little crypt. This place wasn't built for the living. What do these scrolls do again? Scroll of protection. 
Plus steals elemental fiends and undead. That's actually really good. Why not just burn that? We can just do that, right? Is that concentration? It is. Um... Is that till a long rest? Until a long rest. Perfect. Okay. Um. Okay. Starian? Disarm the sarcophagus. Perfect. Thank you, Astarian, for that. And we have the Watcher's Guide. Death's Promise. Wow. When the spear misses his target, the wielder's next attack roll against that target gains true strike. That's crazy. We're going to give that to Shadowheart. Because that's actually really good. Should we just hit the button? Screw it, I hit the button. That's fun. Oh my god. There's too many gargoyle heads. Let's see if we can just disarm a couple of these. Just like anything useful in here. Let's just get out what we can. Traps. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, this is probably fine. And guidance. 19. Thank you. Oh, right. It's out here. Wrong way, I guess. Okay. Yes, we know there's a million traps. On death and resurrection another book we can sell thanks game what are we here? okay no time to rest Light so if memory serves properly something good here I hope um, scribes burning hand Can scroll Let's get all of their weapons off them before we go into this encounter. Because we gotta be smart about this, unfortunately. Okay, so first things first is we're going to give this first to you, and I want to cast Drop that. I wonder what the next 
Uh, can I just use that, please? On Gale? And this goes to Gale. Then Gale. Cast that on Shadowheart. Hit this button here. Oh my god! It triggered the combat with the skeletons! No! Okay. Something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Isn't can I just use this one? Um and away I go. Oh, these are concentration, huh? That's unfortunate. Um, let's get inside here. And whenever the undead inevitably come. What's in this chest? Is there anything useful? Okay, okay, okay. This is fine, this is fine, you know. Gail, get inside! Please miss a couple. Okay. Well, this just kind of sucks. Uh, 
Uh, Shadowheart, I need you to keep concentration up on that, so... Just relax! Is resistance concentration? It will. I'll break concentration. We just gotta skip her turn. Are the items randomized? No. Items are not randomized. Sacred flame because it won't set off the grease. Man. Oh no, we're silenced. What are we gonna do? Step to it. That's crazy, bro. How about you, um... Go F yourself. How about that? Here we go. Should be it. Oh, man. Okay, that was stressful. I mean, <laughs> that was easy. Like, wow. Hello, Withers. Glad to have you back. before thee, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Great question. Um... So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. 
Mm. Wilt thou answer my question? No, I don't want to. Uh, yes, ask away. So I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Hmm. Mine seems worth little as my blood calls me to harm others. Hmm. Yeah, mine seems to be worth little. A life and how it is lived. A different equation. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Fool, bro. <laughs> Y'all suck. Come on over here. Okay. That's a long rest. It is two stressful right now uh who wants to talk with us hello lazel what do you want to say a monster forms inside us and you think to be idle i knew your kind to be fragile but i didn't foresee the severity be quick about your rest we must locate a crash Yeah, we need to pace ourselves, Lazo. Well. Don't you know an exhausted warrior is an ineffective one? A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Oh, Should thanks, babe. Should a tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Thanks. Cool. Hello, Shart. You have something to say. Have a word. What were you two talking about? We were just discussing the next steps. I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. I wasn't confiding in anyone. I was just talking. So am I. If we're to survive... We need to trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Uh, agreed. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh... All right, while we're here, let's organize our inventory a little bit. Um, yeah. Torch, don't need it. All right, here we go. First full rest of the game. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and leave camp. And now we need to get the hell out of here. Although I think there is a door over this way. Yes. 
I don't remember if there's actually anything useful in here, or if it's just like some additional uh, junk items. What's in here? Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Book of the Dead Gods. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Got it. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Okay, we have religion. Okay. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. Hmm. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn. Silently recorded by this book. Well, that's neat. Strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Scroll of Rave and Feeblement. That's really good. Hell yeah. All right. So now we got to go to the Emerald Grove and deal with that whole mess. There's a dagger root over there. Hold up. But that will fit in my pack. We got to grab as many potion uh, components as we possibly can because I know we're going to need them. Balsam. Survival, anybody? Okay, cool. Four survival checks, all of them failed. Sometimes that is the way the cookie crumbles. Coming up on it right now, so let's go ahead and sneak up here and I see if we can ahead. gain the advantage. We should check it out, but be careful. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Well, 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 here we are again. The nine hells! Open the gate! Shit! Form a line! 
Ah. Oh. Yes. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. Let's go, Will. Okay. Book duplicity just sucks. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll do some work, bud. Yes, use arms of Adar in one person. Do I not have high ground on him? All right, whatever. Nothing will stand in my way. Need to find a way forward. Who's the guy who's holding concentration on Greece? Huge level up. Um, hello? You didn't- you didn't shoot an arrow, buddy. Oh, okay. I- My bad.
Dang, Shadow Heart, thank you. Where's this bugbear? I'm gonna start shooting this guy because I think I marked him. Rewind. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Asteria. Catch my breath. I'm so proud of us. This also means I get to choose a subquest. Yay! I'm gonna do not order the like it because it glitches out everything. So we're gonna do Ghost Slayer instead. Yep, we can do Right of the Dawn. The Dawn. Super cool. It's fine. It's getting really hot in my room. What the hell? Okay. Uh, Mr. Arcane Trickster. Yes. Um, oh, wow. They actually added infestation. That's crazy that they did that. But no, it's going to be Booming Blade. And uh, what's the other one I was looking at? Possibly... Friends is just really good. Uh, spells, sleep, color spray, expanded, spell slots. Uh, let's do just shield for you. And then Gale. You're gonna have second level spells now. So I need you to take very specific ones. Um, we'll do Wither and Bloom so that we can get a little bit of health back and stuff. And we can also do... Hmm. <sighs> Very interesting. Dude, we should do like an interesting spell here, I feel like. One that's not necessarily like the most optimal choice, but one that's very interesting. It's like Misty Step would be just the best one, but. Let's do Alter Self. I feel like that's an interesting sort of pick. Something good here, I hope. Uh, on a wow, on a hit with a weapon attack. Yep. I forget how like good some of the items in this game are. 
Uh, I'm gonna equip those because those are very good. Yep. Perfection. Hello, gamers. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! See much bloodier battles than this. Consider ourselves lucky. And who the hell are you again? Oh, okay, Eridan. Show some respect. This woman saved your pathetic life. Well, I didn't ask for any goddamn help. Please, you were begging me to open the gate. Anything to save yourself, you coward. Honestly, I just want to see Eridan get punched again. With a thunk. The yep. Man collapses, unconscious. Yes. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beast will be back. We need to pack up and leave immediately. Like the same vigor fighting goblins as they did for once. Okay, we have a whole bunch of stuff that we should really. Equip really quick. I don't know who to give the Everburn blade to, really. How much gold do we even have? I have 163. Shadowheart has 49. Let's let's sell a bunch of stuff, get some equipment, and then we'll push forward a little bit today. Probably gonna end at about like three hours, thirty minutes, so we're not staying on for too long, and I would like a little bit of a break. Uh, no. What? Why is... Oh, it lets you... Oh, uh, that's actually very nice. Very nice. Sort by type. Okay. I didn't... I wanted to take it. <laughs> Game. I didn't want to use it. Whatever. It's fine. We'll get more later. Uh, I didn't think you could drink things straight from the the chest, honestly. I have never had that happen, but whatever. Perfection. Alright, let's sell this stuff right now, and then we should be good. Uh, yeah. What's next? Hello, Aaron. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there thank anything you. we need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. What ritual are you talking about? Ah, I forgot. You're a blowing. A few days hence, this grove will be completely concealed by thorny vines. None will be able to enter or leave. A drastic measure. But more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. He says with a million magic items. Uh oh my god. Wow. This is great. Okay, can I just Can I barter instead? Yes. Oh my god. Perfection. Okay. 
Okay, it's that. These books. I'm so glad they actually improved the inventory management of this game, because, like, before it was just really annoying. Now this, this is convenient. I mean, like, this is really convenient. Uh, ring mail armor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that that'll be it. Ah. Perfection. Uh, let's see, what other items? You really have ringmail armor plus one. That might be good for Shadowheart if we can get it. Chain shirt plus one. And gloves of missile snaring. Rain dancers garbage. We're not going to use the modded flintlock weapons. Um, do you have a hand crossbow? I doubt it. We'll go talk to the smith, but. All right, we'll take. Whoa, why are thieves still three hundred and twelve dollar runies, bro? What the fuck? Silvana. That's crazy. We only have a seven hundred and twenty-three gold pieces. Uh, okay. We'll just do whatever is mechanically the best to them without getting magic items early. It's fine. Hello, Damon. I needed to talk with you. Thanks for fighting. My selection is pretty slim. I Let me see your wares. Alright, what do you got? Please tell me you have a hand cross. Yes! Okay, now we can do dual hand crossbows, which would be good. Um, there's the monstrosity short bow. Alright, sorry guys, I'm going to have to turn off YouTube chat. It is a little bit, uh... A little bit draining on my battery. Short sword plus one, we don't really need that. Okay. Uh... Interesting. Okay. Okay. No one stopped me yet. Okay, and now we can have dual hand crossbows. And now we have one that deals radiant and one that deals lightning. Which is kind of genius. What the? Alicia, calm down. What did you just say? It's okay. Oh my god. Okay. Hello, Ethel. Ah, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. 
You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Uh, I'm not sure to trade. Hey, bother. Okay. Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. Those are good. Let's see if we can sell the rest of these. Uh, things that we don't need here. That'll pretty much be it. Alright. 73 gold, that'll be fine. Okay. The other thing we want to do is we want to respec some people. More specifically, just Shadow Heart. Okay, Shadow Heart sucks. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need. There are many what are you? answers yeah. to that question. None are important. Thanks, man. Okay, cool. Um, let's do Cleric Wisdom. What are you? Nobody knows. There is a great divine energy indeed, but the source is unclear. Uh, what kinds of services can you offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Sick. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave so. Yeah, we're not going to be using that, bud. Um, you mentioned a cost. What is it? 100 a hundred gold pieces? Of coin. Ah, uh, can you help me change my class? As thou desire. Thank you. Okay, Shadowheart, we're gonna re-optimize you. You're gonna be a cleric. Yep. Cantrips, that's fine. I never use resistance. Sacred Flame is garbage. Told the dead is great. Um, and... That's useless. Hmm. Thaumaturgy? And then we will do life domain. Okay, you don't need, like that much strength right you don't need charisma max out your wisdom and con oh interesting do i really want strength I mean, I just want to look this up real quick, because I know we want to max out wisdom, basically. Probably con next. You're a 16 con at, like, level 2. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be fine. And then, I'm having her use heavy armor. And hopefully, she's not using strength. Um, so let's do... 14 and then kind of dump her mental stats because we don't really need them. Yeah, that's fine We could also do This 14 two ability points Yeah, let's do that. And then you're proficient in... I don't need you proficient in persuasion. Okay. Alright, cleric level two. You get prepared... You get...
preserve life, which is huge. Um, all right. Sanctuary, healing word, uh, shield of faith. Hmm. I feel like detect magic is sort of cheating in this sense. Yep. We'll avoid that. Move closer before he is dropped to the ground. Command would be okay. Let's do a melee with inflict wounds and then we'll just take command as it. Is there another one? And then third level, we will in fact take, not getting bolt, but we will take either prayer of healing. No, we only need that. We need spiritual weapon. Perfect. Um. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, can I just combine? Everyone needs to be edgy uh, with me, so it is what it is. Combine with Asterion. And combine this with Gale's robes. Now everyone's fully edgy. Nice. Okay, there should be some camp supplies here, if I remember. Moving ahead. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, a push and a feather fall. Huge. Anything? Okay. Cool, cool. Alright, let's leave camp. And let's go... Figure out the issue with the druids. Maybe talk to Will, get some experience. Might be good to do that real quick. Where's behind here? Why is there... Why are you paralyzed? There's a separate way through here, right? Ah. Let's go talk with our goblin wife. Hello, Saza. Why aren't you romanceable? You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Your mind wonders. If the crossbow bolt shot through her mouth, would she taste the metal before she died? Hmm. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Stand back and admire the guards' overflowing hate. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Nah, nah. It kind of looks like I have, like, just Navi beside me right now, because I have, like, the whole radiant damage thing on my crossbow. It's just, it's just hovering there. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. 
You gotta kill her too. You move. Uh. Let's do an intimidation check. Oh yes. Damn you. Damn it. Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Because she's not a practice target. She's a person. Can't say I understand that. I'm not sure yeah. I want to. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, hey, what's up, girl? Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course... An establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. Oh, what's the yawning portal, Gale? Fill us in on the fifth edition lore. An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. What was the standoff about? Oh. A drow, a dragonborn, and a cleric of Cyric walk into a bar. Your standard fare. Maybe someone was cheating at cards. Maybe it was some weird lover's quarrel. Mm -hmm. In any case, out came the crossbow, and a hush fell over the entire room. What happened next? I stood up and yelled, Shadow Dark Ale for everyone. The crowd cheered. Tension drained into five dozen tankards, and soon all was well again. In a place like the Yawning Portal, the most powerful magic is calling for a round of drinks. Mind you, all I did was call for ale, but you went and stood in front of that crossbow. Ah, oh, drink to that. Ah, oh, thanks, Ben. Wow, there's nothing in there. Okay. Uh, cool. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. Something over there. I don't like the look of that mushroom. I should stay clear. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're just gonna run past that and call it a day. What does this have? place all alone it would be too easy to do away with her far beneath your talents hush girl another word and i'll snap your neck yeah why not just intimidate everybody i come across thank you going on I won't say anything okay Historian. Of all the bloody things to happen. Alchemist cabinet. Historian, can you get over here and lockpick this? Time for discretion. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is huge actually. I know we're taking all the, you know, their like their livelihoods or whatever, you know, all their food that they're stored up for the road, and that's maybe a bad thing, but it, you know, it's not that bad. It was like four vegetables. I'm not terribly concerned about it. Make sure we just clear that out before we walk back. Never wanted the easy path. <laughs> All right, let's go talk with our uh, our friends, the Emerald Grove. Go see what's up. I mean, we know what's up, but it is what it is. Oh, right. <gasps> Will's over here. Hold up. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. Do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hey there, can I have a word? Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your sh The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Um. Who is she? Her name is Karlak. <gasps> an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Let's join forces. Uh, I'm looking to kill this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But... I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. All right, meet me at camp. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Can I have a smaller sword? This Thanks, bud. Heavy. I'll see. Okay. Let's 
Starion, open up the box, please. And thank you, sir. Oof. I was one away, are you kidding me? It's whatever. I think I don't even think there's anything in there. Hello. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. <gasps> wow. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Let's mimic it and just like undermine his entire whole bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here, little kid. I can do it, too. That's right. You suck. <laughs> Weeping, bleeding hells. Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails? Uh, Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheat, too. Interested? Hold on. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Heads. Heads! There. Happy? Um, not yet. Flip the coin again. <laughs> really? I mean... Fine. Heads or tails? Heads. Heads! There. Happy? <laughs> Not yet! Lady, come on! <laughs> okay. yeah. Heads or tails? Uh, heads! Heads! There. Happy? <laughs> Here, take the ring back. I <laughs> see your wares. You got it. One sec. <laughs> I, I can't keep doing it to him. That's what I got. Um, you have... Ooh, you have food I need. I will take all your food. Thank you, sir. Yes. Okay, that should be good. We also need another set of these tools. Okay. You bought some. You suddenly uh. feel something moving against your back and turn. Relax, you didn't even manage to take anything from me. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bye. Where the hell do you think you're going, kid? What? That's curious. Not a chance I'll fit in there. He just ran away. Okay. I guess I guess we'll kill him later. It's fine. Please, last room. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> Hello, hello, friends. Please don't murder me with your bear friend. I would appreciate that. Okay. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. 
You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. Uh, if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins. So, uh, yeah. How about you let me through? Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. <laughs> oh, wow. What a druid thing to say. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Freaking nerd. You know who I want to go talk to first, though? Is our lovely bard. Very well. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Ugh. What's that tune you're singing? More like butchering. Don't know why I bother. Are you alright? No. I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits, you know? Let me see if I can help. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. First things first, what's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her. Dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Keep going. What would you say to your teacher if she was here right now? That... That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you... For everything. Alright, that's what your lyrics need to say. Moon... Moon reminds me of your grace All the love I can't repay Wait... <gasps> Cutscene time! Oh. It changed it to music audio instead of voice audio. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, here, let's just let's just quickly uh
Everyone clap, everyone clap, everyone clap right now. Sorry. Oh, geez, she's crying. Oh, God, maybe we should just kill her right now. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I mean, don't worry. Cry as much as you need. She'd have said the same thing. Yeah, 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 me too. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We... Didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Well, I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I have a long way to go, but thank you. Uh, I needed this. Too sweet, odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. That's terrifying. Uh-oh. A star and I need you to open up another chest for me. Crack it open. Why, thank you. Woo. Let's give that to Alicia. At least things have stayed interesting. Kay. I don't think we go kill the harpies quite yet. Because that's a very dangerous encounter. I feel like we could team wipe there. Let's go talk with uh, Volo and Kaga first, and then we'll probably head out. Ah, my good friend! Yes, hello! Just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? Yes, yes, I did! A few questions, if you Mm, yes. Of course, Volo. I will let you know anything that I can tell you. Fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Mm, mm -hmm, mm. Goblins, hardly. They're a shape shifted divas. And let's see. Common variety goblins led by a lasher and flanked by booyugs. Nah, they were shape shifted divas. Ye gods, can it be? How terribly compelling. <laughs> and the dragon they had marching in the rear was it of the brass or silver variety uh silver silver <laughs> you know it is brass witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass fuck you volo last question then you'll be quite free did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates Yes, they call it out like a war cry, Volo. Yes. Oh, oh curious. Oh, yes. Indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god Maglaviet in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. I'm gonna hold my tongue here. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Uh, yeah, careful. Goblins aren't exactly known for mercy, bud. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Au revoir, comrade. Okay, buddy. Alright, well, that was entertaining. Time to go talk with our 
next favorite NPC. Madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. A death viper. You've not been poisoned before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Prisoner, she's just a child. She's a parasite. A parasite. She yes, okay. Eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Mm -hmm. Rath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. Okay. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. <gasps> oh God! Come, Koga. We took okay. back the idol. Surely. Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Jesus! Uh... Okay, tiefling persuasion. Um... Oh, yes! <laughs> we got it! Every time. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <sighs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue. Let's Tila pierce it. What a cool NPC, guys. So, um, personable and, uh, helpful. Gail, yeah, what's up? Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. Uh, all right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. In a way, Ever yes. since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. It's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul except for my cat you see I have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly can it be cured no it cannot be cured and I assure you I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home and Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic. I'm gonna need a little bit of details i can say no more on the matter not now anyway just trust me when i say it's all of vital importance it's been days since i last consumed an artifact since before we were abducted it's only a matter of time before my craving returns that is why i turn to you i need you to help me find magic items to consume it is vital dare i say it critical I'd be happy to help, bud. You have my thanks. And fear not. 
Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. Okay, bud. And Shadowheart? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. Ah. Alright. Kaga, what is your freaking problem? Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yes, yes, everyone does. You're terrible. You're a terrible person. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Um, what is forcing them out to achieve? Nothing. They've done everything. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Um, then it seems I best speak to Zebler. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Well, I think that's a good point to stop. If there is any. Um, so everybody, uh, thank you for coming to the stream. We're at 3 hours, 30 minutes. I'm going to go take a break, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow, possibly. Although I might have some stuff to do, so we'll see. But thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, just remember, use code LONEWOLF at checkout. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Thank God nobody died today. That is honestly a miracle. Uh, I was a little worried for a second at the start there, but we made it, so... All right.